when you turn 40 and your near vision starts going downhill and you find yourself having a hard time seeing things up close, you're going to need the help of glasses uh, in order to see better. And so in that case, there's going to be three options in glasses for you. The first option is single vision reading glasses. And of course, the prescription reading glasses are better than the over-the-counter ones because one, they have your exact prescriptions grounded in the lens. And secondly, they have the exact distances between the two eyes. And so they can give you a lot sharper and clearer vision and less eye strain, less headaches. And the thing with reading glasses though, of course you have to remove them or look over them to see things far away because they're just single vision reading glasses only. And so some people don't like removing the glasses on and off all the time and toggling with the glasses on and off all the time. That is why they invented the bifocals. And there are two types of bifocals. One is the lined bifocal, which has the line on the lens, so you can see the line on the lens, and it gives you two focal points, your distance, your far away, and your up close. And so you can leave them on and, you know, watch TV and text on the phone at the same time, <laughs> all right? The thing with the uh, lined bifocal is some people didn't like the appearance of them, uh, the, the look of the line on the lens. Uh, and so that is why they invented the no line bifocal. And that is called the progressive lens. It's actually a no line multifocal lens because it actually gives you all ranges of vision. You're far away, a uh, computer, and your up close vision and everything in between. And so it gives you all ranges of vision. And as you can imagine, it's better than the lined bifocal in that case because it gives you all of that range of vision. The only thing with the progressives is that it does require a little bit more adaptation, a little bit more getting used to. You do have to move your head a little bit more to find where the clear spot is in the lens. For example, when we're walking down the stairs, we naturally tend to look downwards to see the stairs far away. But downwards on the lens, that is where the near portion is. And so if you look through that uh, to see the stairs far away, you might trip and fall. And so you have to adjust your head, look through the top part of the lens, and that's how you see the stairs far away. All right. But having said that, um, most patients do get used to the progressives and they do love them because they do give them all of that range of vision. So when I turn 40, the progressive lens is the ones that I'm going to get. That is all for now. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please help spread the word to your family and friends, share the video, hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe to our channel for more. And that is it for now. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you again next time. Bye-bye.